Welcome to our demonstration of the Configuration Backup and Restore feature of vSphere Distributed Switch. Introduced with VMware vSphere version 5.1. Let's start by viewing the lab configuration. Here, we have two hosts in the data center, and the network configuration is done with the one distributed switch. VDS Site A. This switch is configured with four distributed port groups. Management Network, Storage Network, VM Network, and vMotion network. Also, there is an uplink port group configuration. On clicking the topology of the distributed switch, we can view some of the distributed port group parameters, such as VLAN ID. We can also see how many uplinks are configured on the uplink port group. The configuration backup feature allows us to take the snapshot of the current network configuration of a distributed switch. To take the snapshot of network configuration, first we select the distributed switch VDS Site A. Then we right-click and select Export Configuration. We can either export the complete distributed switch and distributed port group configuration, or just save the distributed switch configuration only. Here, we will store both distributed switch and distributed port group configuration to a file. Note that it is essential to name the extension as .zip while storing the file. This is a binary file and can't be edited. There are multiple scenarios where we can use these stored network configuration files. For example, if the vCenter server database gets corrupted, you lose your distributed switch configuration. In this scenario, you can recreate the distributed switch in a new vCenter server using the stored zip file. If we want to create the same network configuration in a different environment, we can use the stored configuration zip file. Now let's see how to import distributed switch configuration in a new vCenter server. Here is a new vCenter server. And if we check the network settings, there is no network configuration available at the data center site A. By choosing to import the configuration from the stored file, we can recreate our network. Here we choose Import Distributed Switch. Then select the file, which was stored as VDS Site A.zip. Now, we will choose an option to preserve the original distributed switch and port group identifiers, and then we click Next. The import settings provide information about the distributed switch properties that will be created in the data center site A. Once we click Finish, we will see that the distributed switch is configured on the new vCenter server, and all the port group configurations are also done. To check the topology of the distributed switch, we click the Topology view and see that all the properties of the port groups are copied in this new vCenter server. Another capability that is available with Configuration Backup and Restore feature is related to the individual distributed port group configuration. To demonstrate the capability, we will make a modification to the Management Network port group by changing the number of ports from 8 to 16. To go back to the old configuration after making the change, we can right-click on the Management Network port group and then click Restore Configuration. Now, we have two options to restore the port group configuration. One is to go back to the previous configuration and another is to restore the configuration from a file. Here, we will go back to the previous configuration, where the number of ports was 8. We can see here that the properties have changed, and the number of ports have changed back to 8. With the Configuration Backup and Restore feature, administrators can now store the network configurations in a file, and will be able to restore those configurations after any failure scenario. Administrators can also recreate similar network setups in a new environment by importing the configuration files. This concludes the demonstration of the Configuration Backup and Restore feature of the Enhanced vSphere Distributed Switch, introduced with VMware vSphere version 5.1. Thank you.